Okay, boys and girls, today's lesson is going to be one, you got to wait until I get over here. Two, you got to wait until I decide to show you something. Okay, today's lesson is master cylinder autopsy. Yeah, half y'all don't know what's in one. And I know this one sure enough failed. And I kind of want to know why. So, what we're going to start with, granted, this is under. Some of these are under spring pressure. I can't remember if this one's under. I don't think it's under nothing ridiculous, but what I'm going to do is there's a snap ring right here. Right there. It's got to be removed. I can't remember if this thing, if this one has outward force on it or not, so we're going to do it down toward the ground, away from me, and away from living critters. Just in case. So if it goes flying, the whole piston comes flying out of it, so be it. And... What seems to be wrong with this picture? Yep. We put... I took these apart before I turned the camera on. You got, you know, of course your snap ring pliers. I took these blasted things apart to turn them around before I ever started the camera. And successfully put them back together exactly the same direction as they were as they were already together. I mean, that's kind of funny. I know you're just gonna laugh at me. But, you know, one way, if you put them together one way, they close, one way they spread. So, anyway, I was wondering why that wasn't moving when I was squeezing the handles. So anyway, I'll open this. It splattered me with Mugu. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm wearing brake fluids. So Y'all better love me. I hate the stuff stinks. I don't like it. I really, really, really don't like it. But I'm thoroughly soaked in it. But anyway, here's what's in it. Yeah. See this mess I'm making for you all? I'll show you the parts in a minute. The inner plunger it's not wanting to come out. There she be. Let's see if we can uh, grab it with these and just pull it out. Of course, if you're rebuilding one of these boogers, this is not the correct way to disassemble said master cylinder. There we go. That should be all of it. I've got a heck of a mess to clean up, but what the hey. But anyway, I'm a look in. I'll look. I don't know if you all can or not, and I'll report my findings and try to show you. Well, I can tell you right now, by looking down in this board, this one is extremely war, okay? It is extremely war down in there, and you can see in the light, it is not true. It is not. They've honed the, the far back of this, which there's no way you can see. They have honed a snot out of it. It's actually stepped and it's rippled. It looks like a, looks like some, looks like an Earl Shibes or a Bill McConnell paint job down in there. Well, anyway, this is what's inside it. And by looking at it, the seals, it doesn't look so hot. They're not so soft either. And like I said, this ain't that old. I don't think they put new seals in this junk. Well, here's what's stacked up in there. You've got a spring from the back. You've got a cup seal. I can barely see this monitor. Sorry. And you've got a um, O-ring, another cup seal, another spring, another cup seal, another cup seal. That is, right there, is inserted into the master cylinder. Right here being the first thing it come out. It's got some markings on it. Uh, I can't read it. I think it's supposed to be numbers and stuff, but yeah, this is poor. This is hard as a brick. Hard. I mean, it's just, it, that one's all right. This one's just hard. It's almost to the point of plastic. That one's just not, they don't feel right. If you know what I'm talking about, they're just crunchy. They're just not right. But anyway, this is the junker that come off the truck, and I wanted to see what it looked like inside. And Well, we got to see. Get it where the light is again, take another look at it. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not all that. That's what you get when you buy rebuilt 
junk. So, remember that. If you're going to do a master cylinder, buy a new one. It's, uh, it's well worth the money to save the aggravation. See y'all.